Does anybody know if milky discharge from your penis is a coronavirus symptom? I recently watched Lost in Translation for the 12th time. I still can't speak Japanese. I recently took my son to the gun show. He could barely clench my muscles. Comedian Pete Davidson is blasting off to space this week as the only non-paying member of the crew. Ticket prices for the flight are unknown, but it sure was nice of Kanye West to cover Pete's bill. <laughs> More like sin good. <laughs> uh, I thought that last one was going to go so much better. Uh... I'm actually headed back to L.A. in three weeks. I'm going to be hosting the roast of Will Smith. I asked him if there were any topics that were off limits, and surprisingly, he said no. <laughs> Anybody else film planes every time they take off, just in case you can sell the footage later? Okay, just me. That is a plane crash joke, in case you were wondering what that was. Is an ethnic comedian really an ethnic comedian if they don't do a 10-minute bit where they exaggerate their parents' English as a second language? We get it. Your parents are struggling to assimilate into American culture. That's a pretty good joke. I thought that was going to go better. What the fuck is going... Wait, hold, hold on. Does that guy really have HIV? Holy shit! Oh my god! Uh, very interesting. I saw that you wiped off the microphone to prevent HIV. I did. I'm a little horrified. I already have a compromised immune system. I'm a little... Is it safe for me to be using this after that guy? Yes. It is? Yes. Yes. I thought it, I thought that was transferred through spit and now much, much like jokes he did not have HIV. <laughs> um, Wait, so there are a bunch of assassins headed this way. That is Jeffrey Epstein calling Prince Andrew from prison. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> There's a new program where prisoners are writing poetry to express their feelings. I wonder what these poems look like. Give me your money and give it to me now. If you don't shut the fuck up, my gun's gonna go pow. <laughs> Open up the trunk and get your fat ass inside. I'm gonna be driving off a bridge, so hang on for the ride. <laughs> Incels be like, if Donald Trump wins the election, I swear I'm moving to Castlevania. That's a good joke. That's a pretty good joke. <laughs> the COO of Beyond Meat bit a man's nose off after getting an offender bender in Fayetteville, Arkansas, proving yet again nose meat tastes better than Beyond Meat every time. <laughs> That's on the new nose meat commercial. They say that line. Nose meat tastes better. Okay. Uh, NASCAR driver Kurt Busch had to go to sensitivity training for calling another driver who tried to kill him a retard. I wonder what the sensitivity trainer said to him. So quit calling people a retard, you faggot. <laughs> Conservative Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene has announced she's getting divorced. She and her husband have three young children two of which are probably Herschel Walkers. <laughs> he has a bunch of illegitimate children. That's why that one's funny. I swear if Taylor Swift writes another breakup song about us, I'm going to fucking lose it. <laughs> two songs was the limit, now three. Taylor, get over me already. 
I didn't want to say this, but Taylor actually used to do blackface in the bedroom. <laughs> Granted, it was my fetish, but she was into it. <laughs> she used to make me call her Lawrence Taylor Swift. Dasha from the Red Scare podcast is dating Louis C.K. That actually makes me feel better about banging Ben Shapiro. <laughs> the World Health Organization is going to rename Monkeypox because some people find it offensive. The new name is going to be Blowjob Blisters. <laughs> I met someone recently from the Blue Man Group, and I can't stop thinking, was that really him? <laughs> I mean, how are you supposed to know? It's kind of like not a lot of people know, but Gene Simmons from Kiss has been dead for 10 years, but nobody has a clue because he wears that stupid-ass makeup. I fucking hate Gene Simmons. I swear to God, I can't stand fucking with his stupid-ass fucking makeup. What an idiot. Okay. Oxford's new word of the year was decided by the public for the first time, and the votes are in. Goblin mode. For those who don't know what goblin mode is, I'll tell you. It means I put on my Sunday's best, set up a dinner date with your mom or dad, and after dinner, I gobble up that asshole. I think that's what it means. Goblin mode, gobble mode, I don't know. <laughs> Southwest Airlines is offering 25,000 rewards points to passengers who had canceled flights over the holidays. The bad news is the points are only valid with Spirit Airlines. <laughs> In an effort to improve their image, Spirit Airlines has decided to change their name to Jihad Airlines. I just watched a new Whitney Houston movie and all I can say about it is, I wanna talk with somebody. <laughs> the movie stunk. <laughs> Almost as bad as the hotel room they found her rotting body in the Beverly Hills. <laughs> Come on, one more time for William Montgomery, everybody. This is it. Let's give it up for Hans Kim, everyone. We've seen this before, folks. Redman, you're fucking up that stupid noise. I'm not blinking that much. I'm not winking that much. 